Hey there, I'm Armozi and welcome back to Let's Play XCOM The Long War Beta 14. So, we got abductions to do, let's get started. There aren't any new soldiers returning in the next, like, 12 hours or whatever. So I'm not going to wait for anyone. Swarming alien activity. I might want to bring a fairly strong squad then. But we'll see. Let's take Bella. Who's going to be the medic? Girard? I think Annette is fatigued and I want someone with the kinetic field. Yep, Annette is fatigued for five days. Okay, Girard is coming then. So that takes care of the scout and the medic. I'm going to need some firepower. I might actually bring Jeff with grenades. Yeah, okay, let's bring Jeff. Who else? I could use an assault maybe. I'll need a mech trooper, obviously. So, Ariadne. I could also bring Tatiana. I think I prefer Ariadne. For hit and run. And she's slightly more tanky. Or she's way more tanky. Okay. A sniper. Precision shot sniper, or... What about this guy? Shimizu? What's his experience? He's not that close, but... He will get to Master Sergeant eventually. Okay, let's bring him. Who else? A gunner. At least one gunner. Let's take a look. Do I want a Sergeant Gunner? Probably not. But I suppose I could bring one. I could also bring a Rocketeer. What about Donnie? What's his experience? I can bring Donnie. I still want a gunner, though. I think I'll take a Master Sergeant Gunner. So, Reynolds. Okay, let's bring Reynolds. We got one more slot. I could use an assault, I suppose. Yep. Okay, Master Sergeant Assault or... What are the options here? Tech Sergeant is good enough. Okay. So, that's our squad. Oh, she's pretty close to a promotion, too. She might even get a promotion from this mission. We'll see. She has pretty decent mobility, so it would be nice to get her promoted. And she has Killer Instinct, so she's pretty good already. Alright, let's give them proper gear. Scott a blaster. Breaching ammo. I don't think I need walker servos. I'm actually thinking about trying out the breaching ammo, shader ammo combo. With impact vest, obviously. I might give it a shot, but that's only 18 hit points, which is kind of low. Yeah. I could always replace breaching ammo with shader ammo, but I honestly prefer breaching ammo. And I kind of need chitin plating. Okay, chitin plating. And that leaves me with 11 mobility. That's not amazing. But it will be good enough. So Reynolds. Aegis armor will be enough for her. I could give her the Nova gun because I'm not bringing a rapid fire gunner here. Still. I like the pulser. And the difference between the pulser and the Nova gun isn't actually that big. 7 to 11 base damage. And 7 to 11 base damage here as well. The only real difference is the critical chance. In fact, the Gatling Pulsar is clearly better. So, Gatling Pulsar. The only real difference is that I would be able to move and then fire. But I'll bring the Pulsar. So, armor piercing ammo. Scope. And what else? Backup medkit, maybe? Just in case? Alright, let's bring a backup medkit. It definitely won't hurt. Next up, Donny. He could use Titan armor, probably. He's going to need... Walker servos. That's a no-brainer with his mobility. He might even need both Walker servos and... Plasma storm gun. Yeah, okay, that's 11 mobility. 
I could give him a carbine that's 12 mobility and slightly higher aim. Yeah, this doesn't work with a rocket launcher anymore, but it works with, you know, his actual weapon. <laughs> yeah, okay, I like this. 88 aim, 16 hit points and 12 mobility. That looks good enough. So, Shimizu. Proper weapon first. I'll give him a blaster. Seraph armor. So, scope and neural gun link. Yeah, okay. And what else? Chitin plating? His mobility is kind of bad. He could use walker servos. Which is kind of funny. But he could also use chitin plating. Problem is, that will drop him to 8 mobility, which is pretty bad. However, he's a sniper, he doesn't need amazing mobility. Yeah, I think I prefer kiting plating. Snipers usually don't get hit, but... He's only going to have 9 hit points without kiting plating. That's really low. Okay, like this. So, Jeff and... Oh yeah, four more people. Ariadne first, because this is a no-brainer. Pulse Lance, Grenade Launcher, Flamethrower... And Battle Computer. So, next, Jeff. I'll give him... Wait, no, he's an officer, I can't give him Ghost Grenades. Girard will bring some Ghost Grenades. He can carry three Ghost Grenades in one slot, so that's nice. Like so. Titan Armor. Storm Gun. To give him decent mobility, and that's it. So, Jeff. He can keep all the grenades, although I could maybe use some chem grenades? Perhaps. Six grenades should be enough. What else? He doesn't really need a storm gun, he has bombard. Titan armor. But I might give him a storm gun anyway. Or a proper pulse rifle. I think I prefer a proper pulse rifle. He doesn't need mobility as much with bombard. So, Bella. I could give her chem grenades. And bring more regular grenades on Jeff. That's probably better. Okay. Regular grenades then. So back to Bella. Titan armor. Pulse rifle. Titan plating. And probably a scope. Okay, let's give her a scope. And looks like that's it. I got a backup med kit. I guess we're ready then. So, let's go. Might be an interesting mission. I don't really like late game abductions because you don't know what kinds of aliens you'll be facing. Oh, and this is a really small map. Yeah, I don't like this map too much. There are worse maps than this, but it's pretty small. I had to fight three groups at once on this map before, and there's not much you can do about it. Alright, let's spread out. At least there's some decent cover on this side of the map. Hmm. Well, first, let's scout ahead a little bit. Although, I don't want to move too much, for obvious reasons. Let's see, who's going to move there? Right here. Girard can move all the way here, that's also cover. Even if it's only partial cover. I don't like this angle too much. I could move Janet here. But I need to make sure there are no enemies. Let's move Girard first. Okay, yep, there's a group. Three exalts, four exalts. That's not too bad. I can handle that just fine. I could actually try Cypanic. That's 40%. We 
which isn't too bad. But if I use Saipanic, Gerard will be stuck with partial cover only. That's not amazing. I could launch a grenade and destroy this dude's cover. Yeah, I could do that. Or I could throw a grenade with Jeff, then move Ariadne and take two shots. That's a way better idea. Okay, I can keep Jeff in the back because Bombard. So throw that grenade and then I can shoot twice with Ariadne because of hit and run. This should destroy his cover easily and do some decent damage. And then I can still try Saipanic with Jinar. There we go. This should give me a kill. Unless I get really unlucky. How do I want to shoot him? Move here. I should have line of sight from there. It's safer to move here though. Alright. And now I can shoot twice. 80% chance to crit and 94% chance to hit. This should be a kill unless I miss. Okay, 12 damage. He's down to 2 hit points. Now I could launch a grenade if I want to. That might be a better idea. I'll do some damage to the other guy. I can probably kill both. Can I kill both? Good question. I can just take a shot with Girard. Who can actually shoot them because line of sight is a little bit problematic over here. Can my sniper get line of sight? He does have snapshot. Will he have line of sight from here? No, he won't. He can stay there anyway. So what can I do? Hmm. Bella? No. I would have to destroy this wall. I can still try to take a shot. If I do decent damage with Girard, this will be a kill. Let's try. Okay, 12 critical. I can kill them both. With a grenade. Okay, let's do it. That's a pretty good start so far. Rip. Alright, two more dudes. Now, how do I want to move? Line of sight is going to be slightly problematic here. Reynolds can go here. She needs a line of sight on the next turn. Bella. Bella can run in here. This guy. I'm just going to toggle flight. That seems like the best plan here. I might not get line of sight otherwise, but he needs to stay slightly in the back. I wouldn't want him to get hit. Like this. This should be far enough. Okay, Donnie. Donnie will go here. And my assault. She can go where Bella is. And that's it on this turn. Let's see what they are going to do. This guy will probably shoot Girard. That's the easiest target. They might also shoot Ariadne. Oh, there's a sectoid in there. But that's a regular sectoid, not a commander. No, this guy isn't shooting anyone. Alright. I'm okay with that. I heard some mutants. So that potentially means mutant elites. Now, how do I want to do this? Bella can go here. She has low profile. So this will count as full cover. And I'll move Ariadne. Alright, let's go find that exalt and the sectoid. I can't see them. Yeah, no line of sight. They are over here. I'll just use Overwatch. Reynolds? Reynolds needs to be closer. Hmm. I wouldn't mind getting that meld. I can load that on the next turn. Not that I really need meld for anything specific, but when I can get it easily, why not? Okay, my sniper doesn't have line of sight, but I can use steady weapon. For the next turn, Jeff will move closer, and I'll mostly use Overwatch on this turn. Girard can move closer. Reynolds will stay where she is, probably. 
Yeah, I don't really have a lot of options with her. Or I can move here. Alright, Overwatch. If they move towards me, I should get at least two reaction shots. Also, I heard a cyber risk. I'm already close to the other side of the map. This is a really small map. So there are mutants and a cyber disc. Probably two different groups. One group with a cyber disc and some drones, and one group with some mutants. Let's take a shot at that sectoid. 99% chance to hit. Okay, 10 damage. Now I could throw a grenade or something. Or use flush. This should be a kill, as long as I hit. Nope, I missed. Great. But now he's standing in the open. Oh yeah, I still want that meld. So let's grab that. That's free meld. And kill that sectoid. Preferably without triggering anything new. That would be great. Reynolds can do it, I suppose. Can Donnie do it? No, he won't be in range. I'll let Reynolds do it. Bye. Bit of a waste to do one damage, but whatever. And since there's no rush, I'm just going to reload and stay here on Overwatch. I don't want to trigger another group just yet. I'm not quite ready to do that. Okay. Donnie can move a bit closer. Like so. And I think that's it on this turn. Ariadne can reload. Girar can reload. And Jeff will use Overwatch. There's still an Exalt in there. I did not forget about that. Which is why I used Overwatch. Did my cover just collapse on Girar? Okay, 8 damage to my Assault. Yeah, Girard's cover just collapsed. But he's fine. The Exalt didn't have line of sight. And 20 hit points is more than enough anyway. Let's kill that Exalt then. Shouldn't be too hard to do. Can I flank him? No. Actually, I don't think I can kill him on this turn. Unless I can get a nice flush. Which I probably can't. No, I won't get enough sight to that guy. Alright, I'll do it on the next turn then. Reload. I can take a shot with Ariadne, but that's obviously not going to do a whole lot. I don't want to move too close to him, because I don't want to trigger a new group. That's affirmative. I'll just move over a little bit. And maybe take a shot. Or just overwatch. My sniper needs to move a bit. And use steady weapon. Okay, Jeff. I'll just overwatch on this turn. Steady weapon on Donny for the rocket launcher. Reynolds can move over. Hunker down. Let's see what he's going to do. He's probably going to shoot Ariadne. She's the easiest target. I'm surprised that Cyber Disc Patrol didn't run into me yet. <laughs> because he's obviously moving around. It might be in the corner of the map right here. That's probably the case. So now I can use flash. I won't have Lano side from here, will I? No. Will I have Lano side from here? Getting it done. I should. Yes. So flash. And hopefully that will work. Yep, he moved and I can still see him. Now I can flank him. I don't think my sniper can see him, but Ariadne can flank him and shoot twice. But as I already said, I don't want to trigger a new group. So I'll try to play it safe. Like this. That should give me two shots. And I didn't trigger anything. 97%, that's a kill. Nice. So, two more groups, probably. Reload. Yep, reload. I'll just reload on everyone. Sure. And move a little bit closer. You can go here. Donny will use steady weapons still. I could move a little bit, but I don't want to trigger a new group with this move. So no. Let's move the sniper a bit. I should research advanced flight sometime soon. 
because I can already do that, or not research, do it in the foundry or whatever. Okay, steady weapon. Overwatch. I still got all three goth grenades, so this shouldn't be too hard to finish. So let's move. Yep, there's a group over there. Three mutons and a floater. Doesn't look too dangerous. I could consider using a rocket here. That should be pretty good. I will destroy cover. Do damage to two different mutons. Alright, let's do it. Should be worth it. I'll destroy cover for at least one of these guys. Or not. Yes, I did. For the one in the back. No, I didn't. Okay. That wasn't the best rocket launcher of all times. Let's see, Reynolds. Get holo targeting up or just kill that floater. Yep. Get holo targeting on the mutant in the back. Oh no, she doesn't have holo targeting, but that was the only target I had anyway, so it's not like I really had a choice. Now I could throw a grenade. Can I throw a grenade all the way? Well, yeah, because Bombard is pretty amazing. I don't even have to move, I can just stay here and throw a grenade. I want to destroy cover for this guy. So this will definitely destroy cover. And do decent damage. This should do 7 damage or so. Yeah, 7 damage exactly. And his cover is gone. Now I can take a shot with my sniper. 100%. Also 100% on the mutant on the left, but I want to kill this one. Would be nice to actually get a kill for my sniper. So if I could do extra damage with someone else. Like Ariadne. She doesn't even have to move. Let's take a shot. Okay, 9 damage. Now I can take a shot with my sniper. And maybe use Overwatch with Ariadne in case they decided to move towards me. So that's a kill. There's still a cyber disc somewhere, so I don't want to move towards them too much. Girard can move closer. Girard could use Cypanic now. Or Telekinetic Field, but I think Cypanic is better. 58%. And it worked. Nice. So there's only really one Muton that can shoot me on this turn. Bella can move closer and reload. Or she could take a shot. 48% twice. Hey, this might actually kill him. Let's find out. Yep, it actually killed him. Alright, so nothing can actually shoot me on this turn anymore. Because there's one mutant left and he's already panicking. I can still move. But yeah, there is a cyber disk somewhere. I'll just reload. And stay where I am for now. There's no huge rush anyway. 